And welcome back. Well, we love cooking here uh, on the Morning Blend, but today we're going to be doing a little drinking. Have you ever been invited to a friend's house for dinner or a small gathering and you decide to take a bottle of wine? It's a typical gift. A lot of mm -hmm. people like to bring a bottle of wine. If you're like me, you obsess over what to bring. You don't want to be cheap, but you don't want to break the bank either, but you want it to be a good wine. And so our wine expert, Jessica Bell, is here now to make sure that your wine gift isn't a gag gift. No. <laughs> so nice to have you. Good to be back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's great. Um, well, so your point is that you can find a good bottle of wine for under 20 bucks. Definitely. And it's so stressful. I'm stressed about bringing a bottle to other people's houses. And I, this is what I do well, for a living. Well, they expect more from you. Exactly. That's why. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you should be stressed. <laughs> yeah. no, we can get away with bringing something say. that's not as good. Right. And, um, I, you know, there are a number of wines that are under 20 that uh, taste as though they're 30 to $50. So mm -hmm. I brought three that are in that line of, of, uh, of uh, quality. But then okay. also I've got some tips for you too as okay. to what to look for. Okay, now the first one looks like a champagne to yes. me. So is yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, you just want to take a sip. Do you have to, <laughs> do you have to uh, know if somebody going. likes champagne or bubbly to bring champagne? I don't think so. I think, especially for a big party, champagne has party written all over it. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you bring that, they're going to say, this girl wants to get down, right? Yeah. This is a, <laughs> it's just, bubbles just make people happy. And, yeah. um, and so some champagnes can be really expensive. Mm -hmm. The trick is to find really good ones that are made by great uh, wineries that don't carry the price tag. Okay. okay. So this one, this one in particular is one of my favorites. It's always a Best Buy and it's Gruet. And it's made by a mm. French family. It's made oh, like with that. French grapes in a French traditional way. Um, and yet it's at a fraction of the price. It's $16. This is delicious. Yes. It's a good breakfast. And yeah, you, definitely. Yeah, with mimosas. <laughs> and if you bring um, champagne, should you bring it chilled? Definitely, because okay. if it's not, if they do decide to open it right away, if it's not chilled, what happens to a champagne is it will explode and bubble over. Oh. I didn't know that. Yep. So whenever you open a bottle of champagne and it does bubble over, that means to put it back in the fridge and chill it down a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your next suggestion, as we move on to the next one too, is bring something that means something to you. What does that mean? What if you don't have a wine that means something to you? Well, uh, you can make one up. Okay. okay. So for, but the, you want a good story, and um, the reason for that is a lot of times wines uh, carry more meaning when they have context when they mm -hmm. have a story okay. and so if you have gone to a wine region even in Wisconsin we have wine regions mm -hmm. or maybe you want to go to a wine region um, or, or even something on the label appeals to you then there's a point of conversation you can have with the host mm -hmm. so this one is actually uh, one that I love for the price Smells point sweet. It's, what you're smelling is the oak barrels on okay. it. Mm. Oak barrels tend to give a little bit of a sweetness to it. And it's a Chardonnay, and it is... Oh, yeah, because it's not sweet. Nope. That's really good. That's yes. very good. This yeah. is, I think this competes with uh, 30 to $50 Napa... Ca Napa Chardonnays. You mm -hmm. do? This is, yep. and I'm a Chardonnay fan. This is really good, I mm -hmm. think. And I love the screw tops. So yes. It makes it so easy, especially at a party. Right, definitely. You know? It's easy to get open. You don't need a, a corkscrew. And um, Chile is a great place to look for value wines. Okay. So if you like white wines, look for some Chilean white. So these Chilean uh, uh, Chardonnay as well as Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Speaking of Chile, you went there. Yes, yeah, I was actually at this winery and had lunch with the winemaker and um, the, yeah, with my stained red stained teeth. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, by the way, the best way to get the red stain off your teeth yeah. is to drink white wine. Oh. No way! <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh! Someone's gonna love that tip. That, that yeah. vineyard is. That's so incredible. That's a Raza Reese, and uh, yeah, it's in Chile. And all these wines you can find at Sunday. Grappies, uh, Downer, Wine and Spirits, so they're yeah. all over. Now, okay. this is my favorite tip that you <laughs> <Of course>. have. <laughs> when you find a bottle, I'm reading from here, okay? <laughs> this sounds like something I would say. When you find a bottle of something you really like for under 20 bucks, Buy a case of it. Mm -hmm. And the reason is not because just because then you have it. You can bring it to a party. It's easy. You don't have to go shopping for it. Um, but also, a lot of times you can get a discount exactly. if you buy it in a case. You bet. Right? You can get about 10% off. So you're getting one of your favorite wines at a discount. And you're bringing the best wine for you. You know that this wine is fantastic. And you can believe in it. You don't have to know everything about a wine to feel confident about bringing it. You can bring this. And you can use it for parties. You can use it when people come over. Over, you can use it for Tuesday spaghetti night because you know you like it and it's mm -hmm. only 15 bucks 
it's 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 always going to taste good. Well, and I like that too because oftentimes you're on, and I find something that I really like that you bring because you kind of know our palates now, mm -hmm. and we tend to like a little bit different wine sometimes. And so mm -hmm. you'll actually bring something that I like, and then I forget. Right. So if I find something that I like, then go buy a case. You're not going to forget what the actual name of it is. Oh, that's a really good tip. Really and be good. really picky about it. There's so many wines out there. You don't have to say, oh, this is my case wine. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, wait, wait till you find one that you think is outstanding under 20 bucks and then buy it. Tell okay. us about the red that you brought. This is yeah. a Cabernet, right? Right, and okay. this is from Washington Washington State, and uh, the producer is Waterbrook. And Washington State is a great mm. place to look for reds as well. Very great dry. Great values. Very dry, yep. but fruity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it, though. It's good. Yeah. What would this be good paired with? This one is actually a great Cabernet for the beginning of the night because it's a lighter Cabernet. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's not a heavier food wine, um, so it goes down easy uh, before a party. Okay, I All like right. that. Or cheeses. I know you like cheese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah this yeah. would go really well with yeah, cheese. Definitely. Yeah, that cheese one's and fantastic. Meats. Okay. If people visit your website, um, you have some great um, blogs there um, you write up, but what about people who want to do more wine tasting, find out more about it? Yeah, at our website, we've got a lot of educational tastings that we're doing. We're also going to be starting to do some more on the ground wine tastings in Milwaukee in the spring. Um, but then we've got uh, lots of different resources on our website. Uh, we've got something called a DI wine party that uh, it's do it your own do it yourself wine parties and we give you all the instructions and where to find the wines and what recipes to do that's actually that. really smart too. Mm -hmm. I, I think so it. too. So if you visit mm -hmm. mywineschool.com, you'll find out all of that great information, some great resources there and tools. It's always a blast having you. Oh, yeah. thanks guys. Thank, Thank you so it. much. All right, up next we asked you for your